Hi, Joe. It's Mike. Uh, I wanted to respond to the uh, comments that you left to my liberal religion and group mentality video. Uh, you left four comments. Uh, well, you needed the space of four comments. It was really one uh, one long comment because they, they flowed into the next. And that's not a complaint. I just wanted to uh, point that out if anybody was uh, looking at, uh, at the actual comments themselves. So I guess the, uh, the first point I wanted to, uh, to make was that uh, you said that uh, you say that you're throwing your force against fundamentalism, and that's true. Uh, but that still doesn't mean that you don't want to see wider problems with general civil believers and their belief. Um, the, the, the problem I have uh, with that, Joe, is that then my previous comments apply. And where you said that, oh, well, I'm not talking about you know liberal uh, religious practitioners, then, then clearly you are talking about that. You're not, you, you are, while your comments are directed primarily at the fundamentalists, they're still, in your mind, applicable to people like me. And, uh, you know, I say, you know, how so? Um, all the things that I said before are, you know, apply. So please, uh, I've asked you now, this is uh, the second or third time, uh, tell me what religious humanism uh, does wrong. Where's the, where's the problem with that belief? Uh, so if you can do that, then you know we can we can put this one to bed, or we can actually find out what our real difference is. Uh, so uh, the next one would go. We, we I wanted to talk about was where um, you said that you thought our, that that your use of the, that my comment about your use of the word club simply boils down to a semantic disagreement. Well, Joe, I would say that you know words mean things. And uh, when people hear the word club, they uh, do not associate it with the things uh, that you claim uh, are associated with the word club. Uh, when I pointed out what a, a congregation does, specifically the cradle to grave nature of it, that, you know, doesn't matter how old you are, you can, uh, you can be in this kind of uh, community. Uh, you know how there's this this expectation of 24/7 you know pastoral care, uh, and that how you will be called upon to provide that pastoral care for others. Uh, that is not what is meant by a club. That is not what is generally understood by a club. Nor is that even considered to be the ideal club. Uh, that's not even that, that's that nowhere is is that the definition. So um, you know I will believe you when you say that you know you've been in. You've been in clubs like that, and and just please appreciate how remarkable that is, and how that isn't indicative of what the word club means, and that the word congregation generally means what I stated, um, and that's why I take issue with uh, with the with you characterizing uh, religious organizations, congregations as clubs. Um, you know, I'm not angry about it. I'm not frustrated with it. Uh, I just take exception to it and want, want to point that out. Um, and then I guess the next thing is, I guess the, the, the last point that you made, um, said that, uh, uh, making a lucid argument with me is hard because you have no idea what I believe. Um, and I guess my response to that is it doesn't matter what I believe. Uh, my arguments aren't necessarily based on other beliefs other than the ones that I've stated in my arguments. Uh, so there would be no reason for you to know, you know, what I do uh, believe or what I don't believe. Um, that's immaterial. Uh, like I said, you know, I don't see a problem with religious humanism. Maybe you do, and that's why I'm engaging you in this conversation. Um, I don't think that we should uh, attack people based on their beliefs. I think that we should, uh, and, and that's attack even figuratively. Um, I think that we need to... Uh, judge people based on their actions and uh, make our uh, intentions clear, make our expectations clear about what we want those actions to be. Uh, this is where you and I disagree with the whole creationism idea. You want people to chuck in uh, the, their ideas of creationism and, um, and, and you, you, you uh, attack their beliefs uh, in, in that way. And, 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 you know, that's your choice. You know, I, I wouldn't do that and I would, I would ask that uh, if you do, you you be civil when you do so. Um, 
But, you know, I, I have no concern what, what you want to do with your free time. But, see, where you and I do agree is that, well, we don't want that taught in schools. We don't want that accepted as, as science. And that's where the realm of belief and the realm of action can, uh, uh, you know, can, can intersect. And so, you know, my point is that, you know, I want no part of your crusade against creationism. Uh, I just want to keep it out of schools. I want to keep it out of being, uh, being uh, accepted as science. And so, you know, I, I've, you know I'm not going to join you, you know, for example, in, in anything you want to do where you're criticizing, uh, you know, that belief and, and are trying to get rid of that belief. I just, it's, it's not science. It doesn't follow science at all, so it's not going to be in the schools. And quite frankly, you know, the Supreme Court has, has pretty much ruled that in this country, the circuit court, that or whatever it was, that, that uh, district court in Dover, uh, uh, you know, basically said, you know, look, you're not going to teach creationism in schools. And that was the whole ID, you know, they said ID is creationism, repackaged. So it's not going to be taught in schools. And that's great. Um, you know, but, you know, like I said, I just disagree with you wanting to continue to harp on it. Um, you know, you, you're, you know, you, you constantly bring this, bring this up that, oh, half of the United States population, you know, doesn't accept evolution. Uh, but I mean, yeah, but you know, you're, 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 you see the glass as half, uh, empty. I see it as half full. Half of the United States population accepts evolution. And this is even in the, the, the very poorly worded surveys that come out, uh, you know, all the time. And uh, so, so even there, we've got half of the half of the, the population who accept uh, evolution, and you know that that's great. I mean, especially for a scientific theory that is you know a hard to understand. It's very hard to wrap your head around what evolution really is. Okay, b uh, it is something that does not impact you in, in your actions every day. You know, there are certainly things in evolutionary theory that, that are applicable every day. You know, evolutionary medicine, and, and obviously we're all a part of, of evolution as, you know, as we, we go about our daily lives. You know, the natural selection still, still uh, you know, can play a part. You know, um, an incredibly, you know, stupid person can walk in front of an automobile, for example, and eliminates himself or herself from the gene pool. Uh, but, you know, generally, you know, were evolution to not be the case, uh, you know, my commute to, to, to work, your commute to work every day would, would not change in the least. So there would be no perceptible way to tell the difference. Um, and so, you know, it, it's something that just doesn't impact our daily lives. It's hard to understand, and it's still a relatively new idea. I mean, you're talking about something that was illegal in the United States, you know, in the last century. And, and you know, and now it's it's accepted, it's accepted by half of the population. Well, that's remarkable. That that's truly remarkable, Joe. So uh, you know, I, again, you know, I wish that you that you wouldn't attack people's beliefs because I think that that uh, that cuts down on the number of allies, potential allies that we can have in this. Um, and you and I agree on on this one aspect of creationism. Uh, so you know. You know, maybe if you could if you could tone it down a bit or cut it out entirely, you know that would be great. Uh, and you know and that's where we disagree. Uh, and you know again, get back to me about that uh, religious humanism thing. That would be great. I'd love to hear uh, what you have to say with that. And and again, you know, congratulations on your on, on finding some really good friends uh, to form those those clubs where you know you care that deeply about each other. You know, uh, it might just be that you're the remarkable guy who doesn't need these other things. Uh, but again, don't expect other people to, to be as fortunate as you in finding good friends who are willing to accept them um, and who are willing to provide pastoral care to them 24-7. Because that's just not the experience that most people have. Uh, in any event, Joe, peace.